brightened up. It was pretty dark to begin with. You see there in that area, going off to the right now, the impact or the uh, the plume impact site of the uh, rocket plumes. We're now panning across the base of uh, Mount Sharp. We see the shadow of some of the uh, hardware on the uh, rover itself. We zoom in because there's a big uh, uh, gap of places we didn't take pictures. So this gives you a better view of the uh, of the tier of images that we did get. You'll pick up the rim up at the very top in the haze. Haze shows up pretty well in the uh, in the color. You can see it's slightly different color. You can see it's a low light layer there, as was seen in the nav cam. And then we're going to zoom in here again to look at the, this is the area that's been discussed. It was shown last uh, time I was here. When Grotzinger talked about uh, <coughs> bedrock and digging up material by the rocket plumes. Um, so if we can keep going now, I think we're going to back out from this and just show you the full uh, uh, mosaic again and zoom in back to the other plumes. Uh, and then we're going to zoom it back into the plume. So you can see the plumes are light toned. That's, that could be a contaminant. We don't know. We probably won't know unless we go over and observe these things. Uh, other than that, this is a very low resolution uh, image. They're, the images are only uh, 144 by 144 pixels. There are 130 of them in here. It took us about an hour and six minutes to, to take the mosaic. And with that, I'll hand Upper right, you can actually see the main target area of where we want to go and why it was chosen. So, in the hills at the background, at about well between 190 and 200 at the degrees at the top, you see these beautiful knolls and of layered rocks, and the and that is the those layers are what's recording the history in Gale Crater and. They are one of the reasons we chose Gale Crater. The main, the main reason is to study those rocks. So we can see uh, those in the distance uh, from where we are. And um, it's, it's very exciting to think about uh, getting there. Um, but it is uh, uh, quite a ways away. And um, we also want to be able to take the science that we can do where we landed and integrate that into uh, the mission as well. So, uh, next slide. I've been coordinating a, uh, with some others uh, a mapping effort. And so you can see in this image, you can see the landing ellipse outlined in red. And we've divided um, the area up into about one mile by one mile quads or squares. And we had volunteers from the science team map each quad. And what mapping means is, is looking at the different textures that you can see in the images and um, mapping the boundaries between those textures. So if uh, we do that for geology on Earth to mark where different types of, of rocks are outlined. And um, Curiosity landed in Quad 51, uh, which happens to be one of the ones I mapped. Um, so I, I'm, I'm sure that that was intentional um, by the navigation <laughs> team. Um, and so uh, what the science team is now doing is we have these individual maps and we started integrating them to get the broader picture and also investigating uh, the rocks and um, sort of and craters and patterns around where Curiosity is now. And We'll use this map to uh, uh, find a path from where we landed to the main target uh, at the base of Mount Sharp, uh, which is um, uh, south of where we landed. And so we'll drive uh, on the northwest side of the dunes and go through a break in the dune field. But on the way, we're going to have a lot of interesting geology to look at. And so the team will be balancing observations and scientific investigations on our drive, um, but also still get to uh, the base of Mount Sharp. If I could have the next slide. This is the uh, Quad 51, where Curiosity landed. And you can, you can tell by looking at this image that we have uh, several different textures of uh, rocks and surfaces in this. And the team uh, is, is focused on what are the key observations we can make here that will tell us about our landing site? And then we will go from those and um, choose a path uh, to uh, the base of Mount Sharp, um, doing the best sciences that we can along the way, but also uh, keeping our eyes on that uh, 
a beautiful layered rock uh, at the base of Mount Sharp.